Hey, Mr. Z. Hey, how are you, Mr. Watt? I'm good. We don't get to make videos together very often, so I'm no, really excited to make this I am one too. With you, so. Real excited. So we're talking about transform boundaries today. We've yeah. got uh, some learning targets there. And again, just like for all the other videos, make sure you open up to the slide deck and feel free to pause. Uh, rewind, go back and, uh, and re-listen to us explain transform boundaries. Okay, so this is our third plate boundary, right? We've already mm -hmm. talked about divergent boundaries, see floor yep, spreading where the plates are moving away. Uh -huh. You and Mr. Baldwin talked about convergent boundaries where different types of plates, ocean, moving ocean, together. ocean, continent, 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 were colliding with one another. Uh -huh. So we've had moving apart, we've had colliding together, and now we've got the third kind, which is sliding, sliding past, past each other. Each other. So let's talk about some of the things that we see when we have transformed plate boundaries. Yeah, so again, like it says right here, no plates are either created or destroyed, which we do see in the other types of boundaries. Divergent plates are, or uh, crust is created and convergent crust is destroyed. Yeah. All right, the plates just kind of slip past each other. Okay. And I right? think when we say the word slip, it sounds like it's happening easily, but yeah. in reality, it's not. It's not, so no. we're talking about large masses of rock, maybe the yeah. size of a continent. Huge amounts of energy. Trying to Huge. slide or move past. Mm -hmm. They don't slide continuously. They nope. get stuck. They jump. Exactly. And when those kinds of things happen, that's when we see a lot of huge earthquakes. Huge earthquakes. Or, I mean, the potential for huge earthquakes. Right. These mm -hmm. earthquakes tend to be shallow, where the yeah. earthquakes associated with convergent plate boundaries can be very deep. Mm -hmm. These earthquakes are shallow, and because of that, the crust is really brittle. Uh huh. And it breaks and it rebounds a lot, and that causes often a lot of damage when those yeah. kinds of earthquakes yeah. occur. Yeah, the earthquakes are really, really dramatic right. at these types of plate boundaries. Yeah. So let's take a look at this next slide and see some of the evidence that we have for transform plate sure. boundaries. So what do we have here? Well, one of the evidence that we see is that uh, if you take a look at some of these pictures, uh, the one picture on the left, you can see the fence that at one point in time was connected and is not connected anymore. Right. Right. So the fault itself or the line in between the two plates, right, is actually moving. And we have our mouse kind of moving right there. Right. So we have on the opposite side of the fence moving in one direction and then the side of the fence like kind of closest to us in the picture is moving in another direction. Okay, so if I stand on the side of the fence closest to us uh -huh. where the cursor is right sure. now, and if I look across the fault, the fault is here. Uh -huh. If I look across the fault, it looks like it moved to the right. Mm -hmm. And if I stand on this side and I look across the fault, it looks like this moved to the right. Yeah. And what we end up calling this is we end up calling this a, a right, right lateral, lateral fault. fault. All right, so here is this transform plate boundary. And one side is moving to the right relative to the other. And yeah. the other side is moving to the right relative exactly. to the other. So they're just moving past each other. Right. And I can see that really easily on the top right corner picture where we have those nice arrows drawn in there. Yeah. So students, I think it would be good if on your papers you actually draw in where that boundary is. Yeah, exactly, if you can. So that's the transform boundary right there. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So we've got some famous examples. What are we the ones do. we're going to talk and about And probably the most famous one is in California. That's the San Andreas Fault. That's been in the news quite a bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure when the last big one was. Um, I'm not sure. Well, how are you going to define big? <laughs> yeah, big. Well, yeah, you're right. These In California, they get earthquakes daily. Yeah. All the time that are measurable, that we have record of. Um, and uh, we have had quite a few in the past that have been massive. Huge, huge earthquakes that have caused a lot of damage to Los Angeles, San Francisco, Northridge, etc. And it's because that fault runs right along where all those cities and towns are. Okay, so let's take a look at this picture in the top right corner. Mm -hmm. and you might actually, students, want to label a couple things here. So on the right-hand side or the eastern, north and eastern side of this picture, Mm -hmm. That's the North American plate, yeah. right? And below and to the left of this red line, that's actually not the North American plate. That's the Pacific plate. Yeah. So you have a boundary between the Pacific plate and the North American plate, and that's where the transform plate boundary is and it's making it look as if that Pacific plate is moving off to the north sure. and the west. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about hotspots, we're going to see some more evidence for the movement to the north and west of exactly. the Pacific Plate. 
So here's one line of evidence that shows that it's moving that way. Yeah. And there's always this joke about, is California going to like break off yeah. and fall into the ocean? Uh, well, actually, Los Angeles and, uh, and San Francisco are going to be um, across from each other, across, uh, across the bay, I guess you could say, from each other. Because if we take a look, Los Angeles is on that western side, right, actually on the Pacific Plate, while San Francisco is on the eastern side. So they're actually moving closer together. Yep. So it's kind of like Oakland area here. Uh-huh. And Los Angeles area here, and yeah. Los Angeles is moving to the north and west. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's another really large transform fault that's on land, and it's actually a little bit larger than the San Andreas Fault, but it's not as famous, even though there are a lot of very strong earthquakes on it. And that's yeah. the North Anatolian Fault, mm -hmm. which runs kind of east to west across the northern portion of Turkey. Uh -huh. And you can see in this case, it's another right lateral fault. Yeah, that the southern portion of it is moving this way and the northern portion of it is moving this way and so uh -huh. you see earthquakes all along here and there's another little good example here when you've got other faults that are coming off of that main transform sure. fault, and that's common because this is rock breaking and it doesn't it break in a nice clean line a lot of no, times no it doesn't okay so let's look at another kind of example of transform yeah. faults and if we were to take a look at um, like a topographic map of the ocean floor, not only would you see all the mid-ocean ridges or yeah. the MORs, we would see a lot of these transform faults, like the line for the mid-ocean ridge isn't this continuous line. It kind of breaks off and you would see a fault there, all right? right, a transform fault. Yeah, so we have to remember that the Earth is a sphere. It's not mm -hmm. flat like a piece of paper. Exactly. And it's stretching over that sphere and we've got offsets. So the spreading center in this picture the spreading center in the top portion and the bottom portion aren't actually attached to each other. They're separated yeah. by this transform fault. Mm -hmm. So between the section of the ridge axis that's on the top part of the picture yeah. and the bottom, these areas of that ocean crust, that newly formed ocean uh -huh. crust, are actually moving in opposite directions yeah. of each other. So you're going to see earthquakes here, uh -huh. and they're going to tend to be shallow because the crust is really thin sure. there, and it's still hot. Yeah. So it's going to be more shallow and a lower magnitude earthquakes, mm -hmm. but that is a transform fault, and yeah. there are lots of those. Yeah, there is quite a bit. And sometimes they're called fracture zones and not mm -hmm. transform faults, right? Yeah, so if you see fracture zone, we're talking about the same thing. Exactly. Okay, so right. that's the section on transform faults. You guys have a quiz to take, so hop out to your class website. Grab that quiz, take it. Don't forget to look back at your notes, look back at the video. Mm -hmm. and, and get 100%. Yeah, there you go. We'll see you in class. All right, take care. Bye.